in this video I will talk about uh, tests of hypothesis. Now, test, tests of hypothesis arise uh, in real life whenever you do an investigation of some kind. Uh, usually there are six elements there are six elements to a test of hypothesis. Number one is known as the null hypothesis. Uh, and it's denoted by capital H subscript zero. Right? And this is <coughs> the hypothesis uh, to be tested. Right, so for example, um, for example, uh, you may have an null hypothesis where the average Uh, weight of men uh, in the UK is equal to say 70 kg. Right? So that's an example of a null hypothesis. Right? Usually you have an equal sign in a null hypothesis. Number two, the second element is the alternative hypothesis is also known as the research it's also known as the research hypothesis and is denoted by capital H subscript 1. Uh, in, in some books they use A in place of 1, but here I will use capital H subscript 1. Right. <coughs> so an example of, a, of an alternative or research hypothesis is as follows. Right, you say the average, the average weight of men in the UK is less than 70 kilogram or greater than uh, 70 kilogram or not equal to 70 kilogram. They are all examples of so they are all examples of uh, research or alternative hypothesis. Okay. Okay, and the third element of test of hypothesis is known as the test statistic. And is usually denoted by capital T and is a function of of the data that you have. Uh, so it is <coughs> is a function you should say statistic not statistics okay excuse me for that
Okay. So it's a function of the data denoted by this that is used to determine if either H0 holds or H1 holds. So that's the third element. The fourth um, element is the rejection rule. So it's the rejection rule for H0, so the rule for rejecting the null hypothesis. Right. It takes one of the uh, one of the two following forms, either it takes it takes either this form, that is the test statistic is greater than a constant K, right? Or, or it takes the form it takes this form, right? Okay. <coughs> so that's uh, element number four. Element number five um, is the rejection rejection region. So when I say rejection region, I mean the following. Uh, so pre, I mean rejection um, region. Right, and it's defined uh, as, as follows. It's a set of all data belonging to S. Remember S, I think I mentioned this before, is the sample space belonging to S such that the rejection acceptance regions so the acceptance region is defined as uh, it's a set of all data belonging to the sample space such that the rejection rule does Again here, um, S is the sample space. So these are the six uh, six elements of test of hypothesis: the null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis 
test statistic, rejection rule for projecting the null hypothesis, rejection region and the acceptance region. Right. Okay, now there are um, certain things I need to say about about test of hypothesis. So for that reason let me <coughs> let me do the following. Um, I'm gonna draw a box. On on one side of the box you have a decision. There are two possible decisions you can make. One is whether you, you can choose to reject you can choose to reject the null hypothesis or you can choose to accept the null hypothesis. On the other side of the box you have, let me write it like this, you can, I don't know if you can see this, but you will in a minute. On the other side of the box you have the state of nature. Right? And there are two possibilities for the state of nature. One is that H0 is false. And two is that H0 is true. And we don't know, we don't know uh, the state of nature, only God. Only, only God knows what state of nature is. I mean, we are only human beings, so we don't know which is going. One of these is going to be true. We don't know, right? So there are basically there are four possible. There are four possible outcomes you can have. Mm. You see, there are four possible outcomes that you can have. You can have the outcome where the H0 is true, but we reject H0. You can have the outcome where the H0 is true, but we accept it, and we accept it. You can have the outcome where H0 is false, and we reject H0. And you can have the outcome where H0 is false, and we accept it. Right? So of these four possible outcomes, these two outcomes are correct. That is, the outcome where H0 is true and we accept it is the correct outcome. And the outcome where H0 is false and we reject it is the correct outcome. But these two outcomes are not the correct outcomes. In other words, where, where H0 is true but we reject it, and H0 is false, but we accept it. So these two are not, they're not wrong outcomes, but they're, but they're bound to happen. I mean, all the four outcomes are bound to happen. Any of the four. Right? And this outcome, when it happens, is known as the type, type one error. And this outcomes, when it happens, is known as the type Type two. So it doesn't matter how powerful the test is, um, all any of the four outcomes is bound to happen. So, so there is always a possibility that that there will be you will make a type one error or type two error or both. Right. Okay. So let me write it down. What I just said. So type 1 error Right. 
is the event of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true. And type 2 error is the event of accepting the null hypothesis when it is false. One can as I say we cannot eliminate type 1 error or type 2 error but what we can do is What we can do is to try to minimize the chance of type 1 error and type 2 errors from occurring. Okay. Now, in the next page, I'm going to introduce some notation which we will need later on. So, these are some notation. Uh, the the probability of type type one error is denoted by half, right? and the probability of type two error is denoted by beta. And alpha also represents what is known as the significance level of the test of, of the of the test. All right. So these are the three things you need to know as far as the notation is concerned. All right. So this completes the. The, the, the video on introduction to test of hypothesis and in the next video I shall talk about one sample test in other words when you have a random sample uh, what kind of tests can be performed and what they are right?